Welcome to this Cubes video. You can download the data source to follow along in your own copy of Tableau, though you will also need to install the necessary drivers, and Cube data sources are unsupported on Macs. Tableau has optimized native data connections to both relational databases and multidimensional data sources. This video covers some of the functional differences when working with these OLAP or Cube data sources. Cube data sources, such as Microsoft Analysis Services and Oracle SBase, process and transform data from a relational database into pre-aggregated results with defined hierarchical structures. The predefined nature of a Cube data source does affect some functionality in Tableau. If possible, we suggest connecting directly to the underlying relational database. When using a Cube, we cannot take an extract. There is no equivalent of the other databases option for unsupported Cube data sources. And at this time, Macs do not support connecting to Cubes, so everything in this video is applicable only to Tableau Desktop and Windows. The workbooks using Cube data can be published and will function in the browser and on mobile devices. Cube data sources allow for the definition of a KPI as a data type. Tableau does not recognize these KPI data types, but we can recreate them in Tableau just as we would when using a relational data source. When using a relational data source, there is a paperclip icon in the tooltip to group fields. This option is not available when working with Cube data sources. Grouping can be done with a calculated member written in the MDX language, which is covered in the analysis with Cubes in MDX video. To connect to a Cube data source, select the server from the list of options or connect to a local cube file. For this video, we'll be using a local cube file. In the Connect pane, choose Other Files. Navigate to the cube on your machine and open it. For step one, local cube file should be selected. Step two can be left as is. Under step three, click Connect. If you get an error, verify that you have installed the driver available under this video. For step four and five, select Supercube, and we'll tidy up the name. We're brought directly to sheet one, but let's click back onto the data source tab. At the bottom, we see the metadata view with field names, with the ability to rename fields and change data types. Unlike relational databases, we do not have the ability to preview the data. Let's go back to sheet one. Note that this cube is a different version of Superstore than the other videos are using. Tableau displays the dimensions and measures exactly as they are defined in the cube. We'll drag sales to the rows shelf. Tableau creates a bar chart automatically just like normal, but you'll notice that the sales field does not have an aggregation like sum or average. The aggregation is part of the cube definition and cannot be switched within Tableau. Data structure and aggregation changes will require working with the cube's architect. When we right-click on the sales pill, there's no aggregation menu option. However, quick table calculations are still available. In the dimensions pane, you'll notice that hierarchies, including time fields, are also predefined in the cube and cannot be changed here. We'll expand customer geography and bring region to columns. Let's right click to show the filter. Cube hierarchies have a different type of filter than those in relational databases. They show all the levels of the hierarchy and allow for ragged selections, where totals from different hierarchy levels are visible side by side. Tableau shows all the levels expanded by default, but if we double-click on a hierarchy level, we can collapse it down. Let's create a new sheet and double-click Sales again. This time, we'll bring Order Dates, Calendar Date to Columns, and we'll drill down to Quarters. This looks similar to discrete time from a relational data source, but it does not work identically. If we drag off year, 
Notice that the quarters did not collapse down to only Q1 through Q4. The hierarchy levels are maintained. If we right-click and show filter, we see the same hierarchical filters we saw with region, and we have limited options to change the layout. What if we want a continuous time filter? If we look at the order date dimensions, there are non-hierarchical date fields with a different icon from the calendar date hierarchy. Let's click on the icon in front of Tableau Date. We see that it's string by default, but there is an option for date. The icon changes to a calendar, and if we bring this field to columns and remove quarter name, we see that it's a continuous field. However, we should only use continuous dates for filters and not as dimensions in the view. When using cubes, continuous date is always at the lowest level of detail and Tableau cannot roll it up to a yearly or monthly continuous view. So let's undo this, and we'll just use the Tableau date as a filter. Note that we now have the continuous date slider available in the view, and we have all the regular options for interactive filters for dates. If we want other filters to look more like those that Tableau creates in a relational data source, we can use sets. Expand the product group hierarchy and right-click on product category. We'll choose Create Set. Let's name this category Filter. We'll select Furniture, Office Supplies, and Technology. This shows up as a set at the bottom. Let's bring Sales into the view, and then if we right-click on the set and select Show Filter, this interactive filter functions similarly and has all the display options of a regular interactive filter in a relational data source. We invite you to continue with the free training videos to learn more about using Tableau.